In this video, I'm going to show you how to create DRFX files so you can package your DaVinci Resolve presets and sell them. The benefit of DRFX files is that it allows your customers to easily import your DaVinci Resolve products. This is how I package and sell all of my presets. And if you want to check those out, I've linked them in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so before we begin, let's talk about folder structure. And this is the key to creating DRFX files. And so in DaVinci Resolve, there is a folder structure that exists where all of your titles, your effects, your, pre your generators, your transitions live. Um, your fusion effects, they all live in a specific folder. On a Mac, you can find it under Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design. And then you wanna come down to where it says Fusion and then you wanna come down to where it says edit. And under edit, you'll see you have a few different folders. You have effects, generators, titles, and transitions. And then you also have a fusion folder as well where you can place things. And so the point of this is that what we're doing to create a DRFX file is we're creating and mimicking this folder structure so that when another person goes to import the DRFX file, the computer will know where to place the preset. It's that simple. And what we want to do ahead of time, I've done this already, is we want to create a similar folder structure. And so what I've done is I've created on my desktop a folder structure with edit, the edit folder. And within the edit folder, we have effects, generators, titles, transitions. And depending on the preset that you want to create, you're going to drop that preset in one of these four folders. So today we're going to create a, or we're going to create a DRFX file for a title preset that I have created in the past. And so before we do anything, I want to show you guys, how do you export your presets? How do you export your presets? So I've created this little uh, title preset that you can find on my store. And here is the entire thing. And so when you're exporting a preset, you want to select everything but the media out no because it's not necessary so i select all of these the background everything here and i right click and i go to macro and i go to create macro now i'm not going to go through everything here but all of these parameters you can add and change i'm not going to go through that in this video let's assuming you've done all this um what you want to do is click on the three dots up here i typically do save as i'll click save as and then i'll come over to that folder on my desktop, I go to titles and I want to save this as a specific name. So let's call it create with Charles title. And we're going to save it there. Now, once you've saved it in that folder, the next thing you want to do, and this is optional, but I highly suggest it is you're going to want to create a custom thumbnail to go along with it, right? For example, when they look at your presets, there's like a little thumbnail here so they can kind of get an idea of what it is. And so I've created some for myself uh, right here. You can see there's a little thumbnail here. So how do we do that? Let's jump back over into the Fusion page. And all we have to do is scroll to some point in our timeline. And we're going to right click and we're going to click Save Image. We want to make sure that we save the image as a PNG file. At this point, it doesn't matter where you save it, and I'll show you why. And we're going to rename it to CWC title. Now, the next thing we want to do is resize this image before we add it to our folder structure where our preset is. To do that, we can come over to a site called iloveimg.com, and we want to resize the image that we just saved. So we'll click resize image, select image. We're going to find that little image that we downloaded and then here's wh where it's important you want to make sure the width is set to 104 and the height is set to 58 104 58 cool and then we're going to resize the image once that's done we want to download it now when we save this right here in our titles folder we want to make sure it has the exact same name as our preset this is important. This is the only way this is gonna work. Gotta be the same name. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that and save it in the same folder as our title. So going back to our folder structure, 
right? In our edit folder under titles, we should have CWC title.png and CWC title.setting. Let me get rid of the space here. That might be a problem. Same name, two different types of files. All right, really quick, before I show you how to create these DRFX files and package up your presets, it's important that you learn how to drive traffic to them for this to make any sense. So if you want to learn how to bring 100 leads from YouTube every week, which means more sales of your presets and from your store, then I've put the link in the description below to my course, YouTube Lead Machine. So the last step to creating a DRFX file is we have to zip up this edit folder, right? So to zip it up, we're going to right click and we're going to click on compress edit. And then what we want to do is we want to rename it to whatever our preset is. So mine's the CWC titles. And then we want to change the zip from ZIP to DRFX. It's going to ask, do you want to use this um, extension? Yes, we want to use it and voila you now have a DRFX file. And if you double click it, it's going to ask you to install it into your FX library and the person will be able to use your preset. So that's it. Peace.